how can the community, the society live in harmony with the ocean? We need to enhance that. But there is one decade challenge which I believe is very fundamental to all of them, and that is actually transform a human's relationships to the ocean. We need to make sure that everyone understands the importance of the ocean to both human health and the planet. Encore une fois, on a l'impression que euh, l'océan immense regroupe des ressources immenses illimitées. Or, là, sur la base des informations scientifiques, on va pouvoir faire comprendre à l'humanité qu'il va falloir adopter une attitude qui va permettre de préserver ce trésor pour que les générations futures puissent bénéficier de ce trésor-là. Algo que mejorar en esa relación con los océanos para que mejore también nuestro futuro. C'est ce rapport intime à l'océan que j'aimerais se voir modifié ou qu'on reconnaisse que l'océan n'est pas seulement un objet, c'est pas simplement un objet distant, mais ça fait au contraire partie de nous. Todos os desafios são importantes e eles vão abordar coisas diferentes, promover a mudança que a gente precisa por vias diferentes, mas eu seleciono o 10 que pressupõe uma ressignificação da relação do ser humano com o oceano. And that includes our traditional knowledge and indigenous science and weaving it in for decision making uh, and for the management and protection of our ocean resources bringing that critical knowledge to the attention of decision makers because that is the way we can get the ocean uh, we want and the ocean the planet needs. When you think about how unsustainable our economy is now with respect to the ocean, coming out of a decade with a sustainable ocean economy I think is one of the biggest challenges that's out there. A forma como eu vejo a, a década da restauração de ecossistemas uh, caminhando uh, e juntando forças com a década para a ciência dos oceanos como dois processos multilaterais gestados uh, nas Nações Unidas e colocados como grandes plataformas, uh, ca plata plataformas catalíticas, digamos assim, para para a uma ação fragmentada. E é muito importante que eh, podamos trabajar en ellas en mitigación y prevención para que las poblaciones costeras y la comunidad marítima mundial este, puedan eh, vivir cerca del océano, trabajar en el océano, eh, disfrutar del océano todos los seres humanos y estando siempre seguros. The Ocean Decade has decided to address these issues in a new way, and that's by using co-design and co-production, which means that each individual who tackles one of these issues does it in a way by reaching out to individuals on the ground to ask them what their needs are, what information would help them make better decisions, and then working together as a community to address those questions to find sustainable solutions. The ocean is, is part of our lives and it contains more than 70% of our planet. And if we do not take care of it, it will not take care of us. As we are developing the solutions we need in parallel to develop a track to really facilitate technology and capacity development uh, access. Mm -hmm. And we need to think about resource mobilization because at the end of the day, we really need to have a paradigm change in the way countries are investing in ocean science. So we want to boost the investment. We need to develop a, a harmonious uh, relations between economy and, and the ocean environment through people. But I think it's possible to develop uh, a social vision of the ocean activities that will be also having a very important economic impact and that will be leading to a more equitable world. To ensure that younger generations are included. I think it was very inspirational to think about at the end of the decade, what would we, what would we have achieved? And that should be a whole generation of ocean leaders.